Hi there. I have a video for you today that diverges a little bit from my usual contents. This is a Microsoft 365 feature that is part of SharePoint that I feel like has flown a little bit under the radar for a couple of years now. Um, it's been out for a while and I feel like people aren't really sure what to make of this. This is SharePoint Spaces. And I honestly am not quite sure what to make of it either, but I think it is kind of hilarious and awesome. So I really wanted to share it with you. So if you were around in the 90s of the uh, GeoCities birth of the internet, um, I feel like you get special enjoyment out of this because it's kind of reminiscent of you know, the scrolling marquees and the, the page counter that was animated, um, the audio that loads when you load a web page, that kind of thing. And there's a special place in my heart for that kind of stuff. So um, I feel like it is entirely fitting to um, <laughs> do a video on it. Um, this SharePoint Spaces will also let you do um, audio. And you can load audio when you load the page. So you can record an audio clip and it'll play it for you. Um, it also has background noises, which are um, the nature one uh, that I is the, the one that I've tried out is um, there's, there's crows cawing. There's like some car or airplane noises in the background. I feel like that's kind of entirely fitting. Um, and the best use for this thing, in my opinion, is um, just making people's day better. So say your coworker is having a bad day, or maybe it's your boss's birthday, or whatever. Like, these things take three seconds to put together, and they're, um, it, it helps us remember to not take our work so seriously. Um, and so let's go through how to make one of these. So I am just going to go to my home page here. And from SharePoint, um, if you are on a modern SharePoint site, you need to be on a site page to get this menu option. So the home page will work or any other page. And you go to this plus new menu up here and then choose space. And this is something that can be disabled by an administrator. So if you don't see it, that might be why. But just going to make a space and I'm going to choose my design. Let's go with amphitheater. I feel like Microsoft probably intended this to be like kind of an art gallery sort of thing or like maybe to display 3D models of your products or something like that. Um, I haven't seen anybody actually use it for that but um, so you go to this little plus icon up here and you can select from a bunch of options. So you can do text, that'll make like a text card. Um, 3D object is going to be where all of the um, hilarious 3D objects are. So I'm going to go to that one. And then you click somewhere on the screen in order to set it down. So you choose where you want to put it and then you select what you want to put on there. So this 3D catalog on the left has all sorts of categories. And one of the categories is all animated models. Those are the ones that move. So check those out. Um, it doesn't have a preview of what the animation is, which uh, I feel like would be a really valuable thing to add. But you can go through and add these and see what they do. So let's do this burger because, wow, that is awesome. Let's do some text next. I'm going to do, let's see, we can put in text. We can give it a style. We can increase the size, which looks like you need to probably resize this. You can select this and click and drag the corner. Oh my. Okay, no, that's not the right corner. Um, click and drag the side. Nope, that spins it. Okay, how about surely you can resize this surely is there where's the size option here we go frame width <laughs> okay so apparently dragging the corners and the sides rotates it it doesn't resize it but the resize is in here and this resize the frame height to fit text appears to not work super well but that's okay 
and you've got some options for adding triggers on these, which is kind of interesting. So you can trigger them to play audio when people click them or link to other things or link to a page. And oh my goodness, can I put this out in the water? I can. Okay, that's cool. It's cool. Um, space design, this button up here will let you change your space structure or your background. And this is also where you can add the, um, the audio. So there's a welcome message or um, ambient sound. They've got it by category. So there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. There's like medical stuff, there's city stuff, there's clothes. Um, the biology one was kind of awesome because it's got like a 3D cell model in here. Very, uh, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell days. But, um, and you can actually kind of design a little like mini house space too. There's like furniture and a room and um, the controls around it are a little bit janky, but it's fun to play around with. And there's even flowers and butterflies. I think I need a butterfly. Awesome. Okay, this should really be one of the animated ones in my opinion. You can resize these. The resize on the 3D models seems to be different than the resize on the text, which is interesting. And you can make copies of these. So if you want to make a giant pile of cabbages, which is one of the first things I did because uh, it's <laughs> why not? Um, I play Skyrim and that's always the first thing I do in Skyrim is to fill my house full of cabbages because it's a hilarious fun time. But anyways, you get the idea. This is super fun and awesome and you should totally try it out and send it to your coworkers because it uh, makes people smile. Oh, that one is animated. Oh, but it's in, it must be in both categories. Cool. And when you're done, make sure to publish because people won't be able to see it until you publish. So let's do that. And it gives you a link to find this thing and you can send it via email and you can add it to your navigation if you really want to. And if you, by the way, if you, if you lose this later, if you're back on your homepage and you're not sure where your space went, um, just go to this pages library on the left. It's everything goes into the pages library. So the, um, the spaces will show up in here. Um, site pages will show up in here. So that's how you find it. All right, well, I hope that made your day a little bit brighter and have a good one.